Hello guys, welcome to Entertainment Gist on Africa Poco TV. My name is Anno Lahen. I have a co-presenter here. What's your name? This is your girl, Abiyoga. Okay, so let's not keep you waiting. I know you all want to know what we're about to talk. So today we're going to talk about lots of stuff. Firstly, um, this new song by Whiskey Juro. The song is really going viral. Even Tenny says she's pregnant for the song. Have you heard the song before? Yes, I have. So, I think I'm already pregnant too. Hey, Charlie, <laughs> this song is causing to know. So, Tenny got upset and she also released her own billionaire. Like, the song is going viral. Like, now people do this um, shower competition whereby you'll be in the shower and then you'll be singing and dancing to it. And I saw a video Tenny uploaded on her Instagram about a girl with the big boobs dancing to the billionaire. She said that if you're not a billionaire, you cannot, I think you cannot have this also. So, that makes me think, is Tenny a lesbian for putting that kind of video out there? I don't get this. If you're not a billionaire, you can't do a shower or have a big booty. Which one? Like, you cannot have the body. The body. Like, the, you know, the package in front of her. Uh, well, I do have one, but I'm not a billionaire. Eh. Yeah. Well, we all want to be a billionaire. So, um, our next discussion today is um, messy. After the whole my hair thing, like I can't really check my hair right now and then do the thing she did to Tasha. Messi finally won the Big Brother Ninja, the first female artist to win the Big Brother Ninja. Seriously, seriously, Messi, congrats to you. Like, we are really proud of you. Like, but then I think if uh, Tasha should be there, she, she, she wouldn't, she wouldn't have been crowned the winner because I support Tasha, I don't support Messi. So, you support body odor? Why not? Wait, wait, let me smile your face. <laughs> Why not? Everybody has his, uh, his or her own odor. I do have my, yeah. I do have my, you do have yours at the right time. I'm not No. We don't have that. Messi found out that. You do. Uh-huh. Messi, I'm actually glad Messi won because I also bet on her, and so I won yesterday night i was so happy as if i was on i won the 60 million prize so congrats to messi okay and how much was it uh, 30 million um, 30 million naira she got um a cash part of 30 million naira and um 30 million um 25 million um car and the five million is for free trip to any country of her choice with a boyfriend i think uh, she owes uh, tasha uh, 65 percent ah kilo de yes. you use medicine for it no 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 because i still believe i can say they cheat uh tasha is it tasha yeah they cheat her uh, but supposing she is there no then probably big brother knows something about it please uh, no because this is unbearable how can somebody how how many points was she having then when uh, uh, Tasha was going. First of all, if we're talking about big bum bum, Messi bum bum is bigger. If we're talking about big oh, breasts, no. Messi one is bigger. If we're talking about oh, attitude, no, no, no. Messi one is the best. So, no, Tasha. No, no. Are you talking about artificial ones? Which artificial? You see any proof that it's artificial? Oh, please. See the tummy, see the six packs. She doesn't even need to use makeup. She's pretty. In Ghana, we have a, a man called uh, Obenfo. Supposing I have money, you see my shape tomorrow morning. Do you know what he can do? He can recreate a woman. Like Princess, that is having an issue now. Ah, not that the uh, messy zone is small. So you prefer Princess kind of shape? That your Princess Ghanaian lady that went yeah. to squeeze all her intense that. Yeah, with some boobs and you understand. It shouldn't be flat breast and bum bum, no. Oh, anyway, congrats, Messi, okay? Some people are just so jealous of you right now. Like, Charlie, don't mind them. So, uh, Sakodi wins the best, um, the BET Award as um, the best international flow act. And he actually gave a very nice speech. Like, we're really proud of you, Sakodi. He was like, um, Ghana actually have the best talent. They should look out to new artists and artists in Ghana. Like, you guys should watch the speech. Like, you really be encouraged by what Sakodi said. Like, he's really, really. Uh, a good person it doesn't really show off like other hats is like imagine if it was um shitawale that won the um the award what do you think shitawale would have done uh, why do you have to say supposing it's shitawale yeah i want to know now let's just talk about it so shitawale would they have just said ah oh, charlie my gonna have to stay there maybe go look for them 
no, this is about Sarkozy. He won the artist, is it what? A BT award. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. But then Ghana is going far, we accept it. But I think, well, supposing in Shatawale, I believe in Shatawale. And I'm one of his fans. Yes. So I think if supposing it's Shatawale, Shatawale wouldn't do anything that would be extraordinary. He's a gentleman. But I think you guys don't see him well. So he's as gentle as I proposed to his girlfriend and we were told that it was staged. You are talking about feelings, not gentility, please. Uh-huh. Okay, well, now so anyway, um M I actually congratulated um Sakodi for winning the BT, even with Skid, like the artists out there are so proud of him. Like Sakodi, you really, really did well and you actually made us proud. Um Zlatan, I've heard of this guy, the guy with the dreadlocks, the green dread. I'm actually falling for his dreadlocks. The guy is actually going places. He um he's now in the US. He's performing at um in Texas and uh, Texas or uh, Dallas. Yeah, he's actually doing well. Zlatan, we are proud of you. So our Rasta legend, Samini. Samini also won an award. He received uh the special recognition award at Ghana Music UK. What do you do think he deserved that kind of award? Oh yeah, he deserved because I think the work that he has been doing, I thank God that he has been recognized because in, in Ghana, we, we cherish him and we know he's a legend. Yeah. Well, me, I actually love his looks. Like, I'm in love with so many looks. Mm-hmm. I like it too. I'm not a fan though. So, Bernard Boy also won at, um, African Artist of the Year. Shitawale won um, Artist of the Year and... Um, the best collaboration of the years go to King Pommy CCTV and the best female vocalist of the year goes to Esu. Wow, I'm surprised that girl actually got that. Like I listened to her recent music video. It's really nice. The one she did with um I've forgotten this guy name, but 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 it's it's really nice. So um now this is a very, very hard topic for us to talk about. This one is about sex. Sex is good. Okay, here it is. Um, um, lecturer, a lecturer in um, University of Ghana, Prof. Um, Gamapo. Can you pronounce the Ghana name? Ja- is it Jampo? Jampo. Jampo. G Y A M P O. It's Jampo, yeah. He doesn't have a J, but you pronounce it Ja. G and Y is Ja, like a Ja. Ja. In our language, like you want to fight with someone like Ija. Maybe that's why he's oh, into this job. Ija, Ija, like father. Yeah. In our language, Ija means like Ija. You want to, you want to fight. Actually, he, he, he is actually crying. Not like really crying, but he was caught um, having, he was caught uh, requesting for sex. Because I have not seen the sex video myself. Requesting for sex for grades. So, do you think um, BBC Africa setting, setting him um, up for this kind of thing is actually a good thing they did? No, I think it's not a good thing because as I heard, when, so- when, you are record- when someone records you without your notice, it's a crime. And I think it's normal for a student to have sex with his or her, no, with, yeah, with his or her lecturer because sex is a mutual understanding between two you understand and we are we've seen students begging lecturers for sex without even asking for grades so if a student is doing it for grades i think it's cool so you are supporting this old this old sex thing not that i'm supporting but then it's normal it happens you know you guys are the cost of all this thing. Imagine you see a young girl, young guy out there and they graduate from school and then they don't know anything because they actually sell their body for sex. So now you are here supporting that kind of thing. How would you feel if you have a child and a child graduated, you are so happy and the child doesn't know anything? I'm not, no, I'm not accepting the fact. That is what you are accepting. No, no, I want to explain myself. I'm not accepting the fact that uh, the students will graduate without knowing anything. My problem is the sex. You understand? Was the child, uh, was the girl underage? No. What, was she tied? No. But you know, we are not sure this only happens. You know, university, we have kids, we have 
people that are actually 15 16 what if this is not the first and what if it has happened before and it's the first time it's being caught doing such thing well if this has been there so i don't think it's an issue to me i don't think it's an issue <laughs> There is something, um, sorry to cut you, if you don't actually say that this happens in America and in Africa, it happens everywhere. If you don't, are you telling us that we should not stop? Are you telling us that we just relax and let this happen? No, the thing is, it's something we cannot stop it. We can't stop it? No, we can't. The whole thing is that if, if, if there is a lecturer and a student, by all means that will happen. Then if so, then I think they have to close universities down here. So are you saying that you can also do the same thing? You have sex with a lecturer just because you want a grade? If I'm stuck in a situation that I have to do, why not? I'm also a human being. I'm not an angel. Oh, I do not support that argument. I believe that you should fight this thing. Like, it's been happening for ages, okay? And these old people saying sex is a, is a mutual thing. Sex is nothing. It's not a sin. You can, do, you can have sex anyhow. So... Someone actually made a statement this evening and said sex is a five minutes thing. He knows himself. He's behind the camera right now. He's in support of I, it. I want to ask you a question, please. If you have a daughter and she's in school, let's say university, would you prefer her having sex without money, without she getting money, giving it out for free? Because sex, by all means, it will happen. So I would prefer you having sex gaining a grade out of the sex than you giving it out for free for indomie and cook no me i will actually support that my child my daughter and can absolutely with someone she loves that is real sex not if you're supporting that they know they have a mic on my own they, they, i said see i'm glad i have the mic away from you because uh -uh. how can you be say oh my god i'm speechless right now you've not won this argument at all you've not won wait complain my daughter to a prostitute my future daughter no we have professional prostitutes who are in the room they are in their houses they don't come out men go to them you understand and this is a mutual understanding between you want great me to i want sex so you cannot have sex with your boyfriend do you have a i have a boyfriend but he's not a lecturer and so your boyfriend you charge him for sex this is understanding business contracts oh no, let's talk now she said that no. sex you can... okay, bring it on when i have a contract relationship you understand when i give you sex you give you money but there's no contract there's relationship and the lecturer and the student it's a contract you give me money you give me toto sorry then you give me a uh, great that's all it's normal it happens but maybe the lecturer will even end up marrying that girl who, who knows so should we, if that keeps happening, that means we need to start counting how many girls lecturers have slept to just have the grade. See, your school is for education. If it's all about having sex, having sex, no one should be going to school. It's not all about, we have, um, how do they even call it? Um, they have courses, you yeah, understand? When you go to university, they have courses. And we have some courses, you are not familiar with it. Me, math, last me, mathematics, when it comes to business, when you when i get a formula i can solve it but when it gets to let's say a supply chain when it comes to those kind of even when you break my hair into two and you fix it in nothing will come out so with that i can even sacrifice for that so your point now is people that don't have brain should actually sleep with their lecturers for grade and people that have brain should use their brain I, ah right now people with uh, uh how do they even call it why are you trying to drag my mic away from me? People with first class and all that, they don't even have brain. They sell their total for free. I think we have a new Ifi outdoor here right now. But me, I am not in support of this whole thing. I am not in support. If you are dumb. But you are sounding like Ifi outdoor. She said it's a normal no. thing. If you are dumb, can go naked. Me, I can't go naked. Please, I'm not Ifi outdoor. I'm not supporting her. I'm not. I'm saying the right thing. Mm -hmm. Yo, Mati, Atibo. So, are you cool with it? 
No, I am not cool. I'm still gonna stand on my own. I think I've won. No, you haven't. You haven't. I thought that all over. Let's start all over again. Eh, uh, let me think. You've not won, Sha, but I just don't know what to say again. What to say? Let's say you have a daughter. I have a daughter, right? When you go to school, I educate you about sex. I'll do a lot of things, right? In some ways, the children, even when you teach them, they want to practice it. Okay, but what about those people that they study so hard and all that, and the lecturer is like, before you can greet them, you need to sleep with them. See, the truth fact is, when you go to university and you want to learn, crack your brain, you won't get anything. In university, it's not like secondary school. Secondary school, Ghana, you write B, uh, SSC, uh, why, why yet we say your failure is our success. You write like thousands and you won't pass. University lecturer, you, me, we are here. It's a business. Would you understand between us? But the thing is, we're trying to solve this thing. Why is that you human beings are not ready to I solve this thing? It's not a problem we can solve. We are not God. And God created that sex. Okay, guys. Anyway, thanks for today. And um, we hope to see you next, next time. Um, so before I go, you can follow us on social media at um, Africa Poco TV. And uh, you can follow me on Instagram also to at Anola Official. You can follow us on every social media and um where can they follow you abiyoga on instagram and abiyoga care for the needy facebook oh, is it the yoga like the exercise in yoga no i'm um, abba i'm a fancy aba and yoga is my nikki so a b a y o g a abiyoga Okay, guys, so thanks for today, and uh, special thanks to the guy behind the camera. Special thanks to everyone that's actually watching us right now. We hope to see you next time. Ciao.